Guys, so we're gonna make an instructional video on how to unflip your Hobie kayak when you are in a situation. We tried to make it as real as possible. We left as much in the kayak as we could. Uh, we took the reels off the poles. We took our depth finder off, but otherwise we have everything in it. We have our cooler. We do have poles that are leashed. We're wearing our full gear, including our shirts and our neck pieces, just making it as real as possible. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip the kayak. Uh, in a tandem, what we like to do is have one person kind of latch onto it uh, after we flip it so the other person can get in to stabilize it. Um, but we'll show you all when we get out there. Alrighty guys, so we're gonna flip a couple times here. First we're gonna flip and we're gonna work as a team to unflip it. And then the next time we're gonna use a rope. One of the methods is if your kayak is upside down and you have a rope attached to one side, you swim to that side, throw the rope over the kayak, swim to the opposite side, and then you can use that rope to just pull the kayak over. So we're gonna do it a couple times here just to show you, you know, how it's done. Uh, in my opinion, flipping a tandem is a lot easier because you have two people than flipping one by yourself. But we'll just do it a couple times and go from there. Okay, everything's secure. How do you want to do that? Make sure everything's solid. Okay. You good? All right, here we go again. All right, so we're on this side already, both of us. We're going to grab our handles underneath and on the side that is closest to us. And we're gonna pull down on the opposite side and push up at the same time. Ready? Ready, one. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not ready. <laughs> Hold on, I'm grabbing spear tip. All right, one, two, three. That was really easy with both of us assisting each other at the same time. So now what Mikey's gonna do is stabilize the kayak while I try to get in the front seat here. Which side do you want? That side? The other side. Let me know when you're ready. I'm good. So what I did there is I tried to spread my weight as evenly as possible so we didn't flip back over. And now I'm gonna lean opposing to Mikey. So he's gonna come up on my left. I'm gonna lean to the right just enough so he can get in. Ready? Ready? Now this might be a little bit more difficult in open water, but he spread his weight evenly across the entire kayak. Got in in just a second. That was, wasn't hard at all of our safety equipment we always carry some rope with us you never know if you need to tow someone or whatever you might need rope for so what I'm doing is usually we have it tied down somewhere like we have um our kayak handle here I'm just gonna loop it around that and clip it and usually this rope just hangs out under the seat while we're kayaking so we're gonna show you how to flip using the rope now to, uh, to, to write yourself using this piece of rope. So what I'm doing is locating that rope. I already know where it is because I usually have it in the same place. It's on the other side. Come on this side, Josh. Yeah, no, it's on this side, so you have to go over. Yeah, yeah. But let Josh get up. All right, so I now located that rope and it was actually tangled a little bit in some of our gear. So you might have to contend with that. But now that I have the rope, I'm gonna throw it over the kayak and I'm gonna go to the opposing side of the kayak. Well, yeah, I'm gonna try to do this by myself. And if you can't, then I'll assist you. So I'm gonna reach as far over with the rope as I can. I'm gonna grab on and with all my weight just lean back and it should just right itself. And now I just flip the kayak by myself. Now getting in the kayak solo might be a little difficult. You try to disperse your weight as evenly as possible. So Mikey, do not assist me on this one. Hands off. Look out Mikey. So I'm laying my whole body weight across the kayak as much as possible. And I'm just sitting, 
center. So this is a big kayak. This isn't a little single person kayak. This is a real big one. I was able to flip it by myself and re and get back in by myself. <laughs> Relatively easy. That rope, I re recommend to anyone to have some rope like that. Any form of safety gear is always useful. That was fun. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty guys, so getting back in your kayak can be tricky. It's pretty high off the water. What you want to do is get your hands on a good surface kick with your feet while you push up and then throw your body weight across the top so that you're pulling down on one side for as little time as possible. So we got hands here. Just like that. And there we go. And now none of our gear even came out of the kayak because we have it all leashed. We're just going to do the same thing. Okay. Alright guys, so we're just doing the same thing again. Just first person uh, point of view here. All so, my lines are tangled. <laughs> so, again, we're grabbing both handles here. One hand here, going to reach underneath with the other hand. Grab the other side. All right, and one, two, three. Boom. Easy, yeah. easy. Noel's gonna go around. Basically, I'm pulling my body under the kayak and holding with this handle to stabilize it and put as much weight on this side as possible. Ready? All right, now it's my turn again. You good? Alright. And it's as easy as that, people. One of the biggest things is staying calm and having a plan. Very important. I can feel the water. Yeah. Alrighty guys, so we got a bit of water in here from that, so always bring a bilge pump. Those pump can save your life. Not if I'm in front of them. <laughs> 